How's it going? Welcome back to my shop. My name is Tim and today we are going to continue work on the coat rack that we've been doing. Last time we cut the joinery for the base and we tapered the post and today hopefully we're going to go ahead and get the supports done and all the joinery completed. So thanks for watching. Okay and the first step maybe I'm not exactly sure I'm going to do this yet but the first step is going to be to go ahead and make a little mortise there for the post to sit in. And I've already gone and traced out the bottom of the post and we're gonna go ahead and cut that out. Okay, the next step is to work on these supports, but this is a tricky step because this taper here makes it so that this joint where the post and the bases connect is not square. So this support piece, I can't just cut a square angle because it's not gonna match up with this taper here. So let me show you what I have set up. So basically I'm using my bench as a reference face. So I have the base clamped to one side and then on the other side, I have the top of the post clamps, which I know is the same thickness as the base. And then I actually used one of the laminated pieces of the top of the bench to make sure it was square side to side. I always forget that you can use the bench as a tool, but this is a good example of that.
four slides, so I just want to make sure that I have the right ones. Thank you. 
And that just about does it for me this time. Thank you so much for watching. The rest of the joinery is pretty much exactly the same. So each of these posts gets a mortise and tenon on both ends and it gets shaped. So it's just rinse and repeat. So next time we will probably start the final assembly and do the finish. Thanks for watching.